Hi, it's Terry Rose, and this is my mother, Betty. Um, I have always told, I talk about her a lot in my coaching programs and use her for examples all the time, and I do call her and ask her for permission, but I thought, I'm visiting, and while I'm here, maybe I can get her to tell one of her stories herself, but she's uh, not really used to being on video camera, so we just did a take, and she looks like this old stone face, so uh, I said, I'm going to have to do something and get her laughing, because for 87 years old, she's... She's one of the most wonderful people I've ever known, and she is so funny and has such a good sense of humor. There are five of us kids, and we all just have this little kind of funny sense of humor, and Mom's always doing things. She'll give us our, our Christmas gifts. She makes us work for them, and she hides notes and makes us do a little treasure hunt for things. And uh, she always has a grab bag where she go, goes and gets all this stuff, and we wrestle around on the floor. I mean, we're all adults, you know, <laughs> our 40s and 50s, rolling around fighting over these grab bags that she has, and we have a really good time. So trying to get her to loosen up here a little bit, and, and uh, but I'm so thrilled that she agreed that she would even do this. Um, she's going to tell her story. I talk a lot about the time her sister, um, w her sister had been ill, and. Uh, when I was a kid, Mom told me the story. It just absolutely fascinated me. So you have to excuse me my talking head back here, but I wanted to have her in the video and to tell her story about when her sister died because um, it fascinated me that she knew to get home. She had this feeling, and, we, and it's the feeling that we all get. It's an intuitive feeling to do things or not to do things. So I just wanted to get her on video telling the story herself. So, Betty, would you go ahead and just... Um, just talk about that a little bit, your experience of, of uh, that day when, when uh, you knew you had to get home. So what led up to that? Well, she would have to tell you my age to begin <laughs> with, wouldn't she? <laughs> but the, the true story is a friend and uh, my sister, a twin sister, and we were very close. Uh, she was seriously ill. And my friend and I went to the grocery store to get an ice cream cone. I put my hand on the doorknob and I said, something tells me I have to get home. And she said to me, let's run. So we did and uh, my mother late, later told me that as I turned the corner, my twin sat up in bed with a beautiful smile on her face and died. And I had that feeling I had to get home, which I did, and it, it proved there really was a reason. Yeah, and that's what fascinated me. And the first time I heard that as a as a child, I think I was probably somewhere around 11 years old when I heard that. And I just I remember how much I just kind of drove you crazy. I kept asking, but how? You know, how could you know? And your answer was always, I don't know. I just knew. And so. Um, Anything more? I mean, it was just a feeling. It was it was a message. It was something that came to you. Do you have any any other thoughts on that? Of you know, anything else you want to mention? How that felt or anything about it? Well, it it was an urgent feeling. I knew that we had to run to get there, mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunately, I wasn't with her when she died, but my heart was. Yeah. And. Uh, it was an experience I also never forgot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you, Mom, for sharing this. I'll give you a little kiss on your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good to see you and good to hear this, and, and I will have this on film forever. So, uh oh. Um, so, okay. <laughs> okay. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye.